from uh, a macro perspective, or as our CEO Joe likes to call it, the 30,000 you know, miles in the sky uh, look at things, um, the pandemic um, led to um, you know, significant legislature being passed. Um, the CARES Act. Um, you know, we talk about the social determinants and things that uh, you know our population uh, kind of struggle to maintain. You know, not only are they isolated, but they have to worry about finances, housing instability, um, access to treatment, whether their treatment providers' doors are going to be open, etc. Um, so, just briefly, the CARES Act. You know, uh, gave uh, you know. 400 plus million dollars towards mental health and substance abuse, including money to, you know, CCBHCs, um, billions of dollars to the uh, HUD or uh, Housing Authority um, to, you know, um, ensure Section 8 vouchers were kept intact, um, to expand um, housing programs. And the most important thing is to, um, you know, delay or put in an ev eviction moratorium uh, to keep people housed during the pandemic. Um, there was money given for uh, criminal justice, criminal justice reform, which included, you know, additional treatment uh, within uh, jails and prisons for substance abuse and mental health and various programs for reentry um, and several other pieces of legislation. Um, from a, a narrower perspective with regards to uh, prescribing, um, several significant things uh, occurred. Um, there was the... Um, waiving or the pausing of the Ryan Hyde Act, um, which required a provider who was giving a controlled substance, which Suboxone, Methadone, et cetera, are, to do an in-person initial encounter uh, prior to prescribing. And due to the pandemic, that wasn't necessarily safe. People were uncomfortable. Um, so that act has been modified and waived for the time being while there is a public emergency. So we are able to see patients virtually um, and um, prescribe Suboxone on an initial encounter. Along with that, legislation and funding has been passed to look into home inductions, um, you know, uh, inducing patients at home where they may be more comfortable, just giving appropriate education, et cetera, um, which also helps us kind of uh, reduce barriers to treatment. Um, some other important legislature um, that's been passed um, in the state of New Jersey and elsewhere, um, access to life-saving antidote naloxone. Um, making it affordable and free for people, having standing orders at pharmacies where a prescription is not needed. So where family members or uh, people who use, um, especially in times like these, when they might not be using around very many people or only a select few, et cetera, um, having access to naloxone or Narcan, no questions asked. Um, in September, I think uh, the state of New Jersey gave away over 70,000 doses to various pharmacies for free. Um, that was a huge uh, piece of legislation.